Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my secret spot. I don't recall ever seeing all of these weeds out here last time I was here, but I've also never been up this little road right here, so let's go check it out. Not a bad little view up here, I must say. Whoa, this is sick. And uh, just like that, we're on the top of this little mountain. Now, I'm not trying to drive too much further that way because I've seen horror stories of cars driving over brush and the exhaust catching everything on fire and we definitely don't want that. Speaking of exhaust, I am still doing something with the exhaust on the Ram very, very soon, but I'm still deciding on whether I'm going with a aftermarket exhaust system, a muffler or a muffler delete. Muffler delete would sound really good and be cheaper. The auto stopping function when you back up into something is the scariest sound. <laughs> it's so dramatic. It gets me every time. And the scarier thing is half the time, there is nothing behind me, so it really catches me off guard. In case you guys missed the last video, I installed the wrap on the bedside of the Ram and it did not go well whatsoever, as you can see right here. It totally shattered, it ripped, it tore. Uh, and uh, I've been driving around for the last few days with this embarrassing piece of wrap on the side of my truck, as well as a missing fender flare looking ridiculous, but it was for a reason. I kept it on for a couple days to see if the wrap would have any other issues beside what happened back there. And sure enough, it did. The wrap is starting to peel up on the corner as well as lift here on the body lines. So it's not bonding to the paint very well. And I installed it properly. Uh, I didn't overstretch it. I post heated it. It was clean. It was clay. The wrap's coming off right now, but we are going to try to reattempt to wrap it. This time we know what to expect. And hopefully this time it goes a little better than the last time. Obviously, I need to remove the taillights in order to do a clean job removing the wrap, but we'll do that when we go to reattempt to wrap the truck. The wrap came off clean though, as I would imagine it would. It was only on there for about 48 hours, so we're good. We're good. All right, let's go. And we are back in attempts to rewrap the Ram in the Haxxas, Bruh. Texas Satin Neon Blue, the wrap that gave us nothing but issues last time we tried it. We are not giving up on that film that easily except though this time if it does not work out we do have a plan b at least this time we do have a head start we have everything taken off the truck that needs to be taken off of well except the taillights but everything else has been removed in preparation for the wrap so really all we need to do now is wipe it down with some alcohol and water cut some film and start laying some vinyl this video is going to go either one of two ways either a we install the wrap successfully and move on to another panel or B, the wrap is all going in the trash. Remember that one time we bought the wrap for the Silverado and I said we better like it because we have 75 feet of it? Well, we have 99 feet of the satin neon blue, so.
I'm, uh, I'm sweating, installing the wrap on one panel of this truck. This wrap is hands down by far the most difficult wrap to work with out of any of the wraps in the market, at least out of the ones that I've worked with. But this actually came out really clean. I'm actually really impressed. Being that this time I kind of knew what to expect out of this film, I was able to kind of counteract at least most of the curveballs this wrap through my way. Number one complaint I have with it is it is super, super tacky. Anytime it gets anywhere near the truck, it just wants to cling on for dear life and not let go, which makes it really hard to reposition and get rid of those bubbles. But it actually has a really good air release technology to it. So that is actually really impressive considering all the troubles I'm having with this wrap so far. I'm gonna let the wrap sit on the bedside for the next couple of days to ensure that the wrap does not start to fail again. That's when you start to see it having issues is when it goes through a couple of hot and cold cycles. If it was overstretched or if it was not a clean surface, you got some oil from your fingers under the material and it's just not clinging to the paint, that's when you're gonna to start to see the problems happening. Hopefully nothing happens with this material. If it does, it is definitely on the wrap. I went through all the proper steps to ensure the surface was clean. I didn't do any overstretching and any areas that were stretched more than 10% were given a nice post heat. So as far as the installation goes, it went perfectly. If the wrap does come up, well, I blame you. All right, let's check out our masterpiece in the direct sunlight. Yo, that looks so much better. Yes, no more tear. We're not riding around all embarrassing anymore. I mean, it is a little weird to ride around with just one panel wrap, but for now, it's only temporary. I feel super accomplished that this came out good. The reason why it's not wrapped from this body line on down is because there's a really deep recess right there, which I think any wrap would have issues sticking into. So I broke it up and I'll do another piece down here from this body line on down to ensure that we don't get any lifting here in this little edge so that'll be happening soon but like i said i want to make sure that this wrap is not going to fail on me over the next couple of days and then we will move on to the rest of the truck so just to give you guys an understanding as to how difficult this wrap is to work with this is hexus this is 3m and this is 3m as well so we have gloss cinder spark red we have satin dark gray and we have the hexus neon blue so here is satin neon blue just like that it is that easy to ruin it here we have satin dark gray by 3m that was a lot more difficult to tear here is the gloss cinder spark red so it's a lot more difficult to rip and that is pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you guys enjoyed i will catch you guys on the next one till then peace out